Hello, today we are investigating a game called Paradox Spectre. It's an early access game. Quite cheap, I currently got it for £1.46 on Steam and... Instructions just state this. As Miskatonic University's lead physicist, you have unlocked the secrets of time travel, only to find yourself trapped millions of years before the dam o dawn of humanity. Fight your way through Cyclopean fortresses of the Old Ones and their Eldritch minions before reality shatters into oblivion. Use WSD keys to move, spacebar to jump, and mouse to aim and fire your weapon. Levels will become more complex as you venture closer to your goal. Just what the goal is, however, no one knows. So let's just start the game. There is a way to save and load with a 5 saving, a 6 loading state. Evade the guards and find the gun. Okay, got it. I absolutely love this graphics style, by the way. I know that it's just like vectors and shit, and one of the reasons why this game was made by the developer in the first place, he kind of got excited about vectors. But <laughs> I absolutely love the graphics style. Ooh. We are the old ones. We came to this world when it was smoke and mud. Nice. Um, so there's like little lore statuettes around from the looks of it. This game is still being very actively updated, by the way. And me doing this short play is kind of my way of... Oh, that's a weapon, that's okay. Um, my way of figuring out if I want to do a five minute review on it and what kind of score I want to give it. <laughs> No, no, no. Don't, don't be, don't be a bad robot. You're gone! Oh, no, 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 you're not. Ah! Um. Okay, I have significantly less health now. So, if I save here... Oh, cool. I can reload here. Correct. I feel like I need some sort of indication that the saving actually has worked. I feel like that would be a nice touch for the game to have. I think I need a key. Ooh! Ammunition! Cool. I like my ammunition. Ooh! I, I can... Just remove this, that's nice. Can I can I remove the grates or do I actually need a key? No, I actually need a key, so I was correct. We can hop, there's some stuff above there. We haven't figured out how to climb up there yet. We can also run. Woo! Ah, so do you want me to do a running jump? If so I'm gonna yeah, save there. Yeah. If I am actually meant to do this jump, I am really bad at it. That one better. There we go. <laughs> ah, Murta did it. Good for me. Anything around here? Ooh. Triangle discovered! Woo! But I don't want to proceed to the exit. Proceeding to the exit is not very fun. Save here? Our world was dying and we left in hope of discovering a new- what- what? What were you? Discovering a new home for our people. Thanks, plant man. I'll try to remember it. Are you the exit? No, you're not. That's the gun again. Pickups seem to respawn. Did I exit the right way? Seek the dimples to find all nine paradox um, angles. Triangles. Got it. 
Ooh. It's like a garden! It's so pretty. You know what could this game really do with? A soundtrack of any sorts. I know that music's tricky because even if you like outsource it and buy from somebody, you can get a lot of copyright claims on it. That's sad. Ooh. Ah. Fell through the world, it felt like. We were the first to arrive at this world, but not the last to do so. How unfortunate for you. That nothing comes out out of that? Good. Oh, I can I can look inside of that. That's nice. Not long after the others came, while Cthulhu and his spawn arrived from the blighted galaxy. Oh, so you're not like the Cthulhu people, you're plant people. How do you guys look? If you guys look like that, you look like a sort of weird flowery flowery thing. This map design is quite confusing because it feels like it constantly goes down. I actually hit that one this time, so that's good. Oh, I could really do with some sort of indication that I am actually saving. Let us fall even further. Wah hey! Triangle got. Health restored, cool. You're making me think that, think that bad things are gonna happen, for you have restored my health. How many triangles do I even have right now? Whatever hell Cthulhu has unleashed on other systems, he sought to bring it here. Ammo! Okay, so nothing... there's no way through here. There's no way through the lore guy. No way through here. We get stuck. <gasps> Got stuck! Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. I mean, I can see a thing up there. That's the exit. <laughs> How do you get there? Oh no. Don't tell me that we got perma stuck. That's not good. Yep, it looks like we have indeed found a way to get ourselves perma stuck. Or there's a mechanic that I don't know about. Just like wall running or something. But either way, that's not a happy note to end the playthrough on, is it? But this has been Paradox Vector, and Marta's gonna film another attempt at running this and do a review out of it as well. If you would like to help the developer get some more money, um, you can go and buy this game or any other games. Kinda sad when games do break on you, though, because that's that's not very high. That's only a few tiles high. I feel like there should be a way for me to get up there. What do you mean check- Oh. Shit! Okay. Um. Okay. Well, never mind. I was gonna end the video, but apparently we haven't gotten stuck. It's just... The game messes with your brain. Like most Cthulhu games, actually. Eh! I really fell at jumping! I don't know what is it with me and games, but when I have to make jumps, it just feels like I can't half the time. Like my spacebar fails to execute. Oh, 
Oh, red key is required to open this portal. Got it. Oh yeah, jumping is most definitely quite scary. Health has been restored. But we fought Cthulhu and his shape-shifting offspring. Many of our greatest leaders were lost. Oh, you're upside down now. What did I do? Did I invert the level? Yep. That whole me can't jump thing again. It seems that whenever I reload, stuff reloads with it. I don't know if that's intentional or is that something that they might wanna look into. There we go. We. Whoa. What? I did invert to level. Jesus. That was something that wasn't really expected. Now we have the red key. Wait, am I at the same level again? Is that where I am? Ah, this game's messing with my brain, man. It is. Oh, no green key, only red key. Ah, Spike. Spike's not good. Not like us are the spawn of Cthulhu, they are made from other kinds of matter. Good for them. Pew pew. Whoa! Yeah, whenever this sort of thing happens, it's hard for my brain to comprehend. It's kind of like if I'm pressing shift, my keyboard or something cannot actually understand my space input as well. Which is a bit weird. Oh, so that's just health. That being said, we kinda need it. So let's continue going. This citadel used to belong to Cthulhu and his minions. We sent them fleeing to the sea. Whoopsie daisy. Yay! Where is the exit? Game, going proceed to the exit is not very helpful. Ah oh yes, the stuff has respawned again. So weird, because you're at the ground floor and then you do the running around the and then you're on the top floor despite never going up the stairs. Ooh, I'm in a different place again. Maybe I'm in the same place. Either way, I'm sufficiently confused by now. So this has been Paradox Vector, everybody, and I hope I get to see you in my other game, short gameplay play plays. And if you want to play play yourself, you can, for it is cheap. So thank you for watching, and I hope I'm gonna see you in my other overviews of small games in the steam graveyard that didn't get a lot of reviews oh if, if i haven't mentioned this game is in early access but it is actually being actively updated which is quite a surprise because it didn't have a lot of sales <laughs>